Now it is time for Ask Matthew, where we are asking Matthew Berry the one and only some of your pressing fantasy football questions. So, Matthew, let's get started here. Hey, Matthew, dynasty question for you. My team has been really good for a few years, but I have an aging roster and injuries that are going to keep me out of the playoffs. What do you think I could get in terms of draft capital for old but still good guys like Alvin Kamara and Mike Evans signed Mike in Chicago? Obviously, it depends on your league, depends on how desperately needy the teams that are going for it this year are willing. But what I would do is I would say I would send private message. I would send a group email, but not to the entire league, just to like the three or four teams at the top that you think are buyers. And you say, hey, guys, I'm selling Alvin Kamara, Mike Evans, whoever else on my team are on the block. I know all you guys are competing. I didn't want anyone to think that they didn't have an opportunity Please message me separately if you're interested. And what this does is two things. Number one is somebody might think like, oh, you're not trading Mike Evans, but in fact, you are. And the other thing is it lets all the other competing players know, oh, oh, okay, well, I may not want Alvin Kamara, but I definitely don't want this other person getting Alvin Kamara. So let me maybe make some offers. So hopefully that creates a bidding situation, and then you can evaluate what's the best offer for your team, what it would say there. But I certainly think I'm a big believer in Dynasty. You need to be in one of two modes at all times going for it or rebuilding nothing yeah. is worse than finishing fifth in a dynasty league you need either to be like dead last or hopefully trying to get to dead last or competing for a title middle of the pack does you no good at all so i think you're right you're not going to make the playoffs this year it's an aging roster better to jump off you know one year too early than one year too late so yeah while evans and camara and some of these guys still have a decent amount of value try to sell them um uh, as well. So I do think uh, you should check out the Trade Raider on uh, fantasylife.com. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the Trade Analyzer. That's always a good tool here to help you get some ideas. But ultimately, I think it's any trade is sort of what the market will bear. And uh, you don't know what the market will bear until you try. And so this is a way to try to create some leverage and some interest in your players among the player among the uh, league mates that will be most interested. I like that. Really, really good advice there. Uh, the next one here, Matthew, I am stacked at running back. I have Saquon Barkley and Joe Mixon, and I just got Christian McCaffrey back. I offered CM CMC straight up for Jamar Chase to a guy who has nobody at running back. He said it was the worst trade offer he has ever heard. I think it's totally fair. Can you please be our Judge Judy and tell us who's right? Thanks, Rob G. Yeah, Rob G., I think you're totally right. Again, now this depends. There's a lot of context that's missing that's needed here. When did you offer him McCaffrey for Jamar Chase? Did you just recently, like after he just had over 100 yards from scrimmage and looked like yeah. CMC again? Or was this like in week three where we were just like, uh, we don't know where CM oh, CMC is going to come back and he's currently like in Germany getting weird injections? Like, you know, I mean, it all depends on sort of where you offered that trade. Um, because there was a moment there where you're like, have we seen the last of CMC? But look, obviously, a uh, great game against the Buccaneers. He looked like Chris McCaffrey of old. And so if you and if you offered it now or within the past week, it's absolutely not a bad trade in a um, in any sort of league. If you started a draft today for the rest of the season, McCaffrey and Chase are both first-round picks. So it's certainly not an outrageous trade. What I will say to you, however, is that I don't know if, from my perspective that there's a massive difference between – Chris McCaffrey and Saquon Barkley and um, who's the other running back? Mixon, he said. Joe Was it Mixon? Mixon? Yep. Joe Mixon. So those two guys are a cut above Mixon, but Mixon's still a you know top six fantasy running back. So I think what I might do is, to your point, if you if you really want to trade depth, if you can't use one of those guys in a flex, you're in a league that only plays two running backs, and you're, you you feel like you have good bench depth, so you're like, I want to trade one of those guys. See what the market will bear. Again, I. Like if he's just like, I'm not, I'm not training for CMC. He's too injury prone, but I'll give you a, a Jamar chase for Saquon. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you have to, you have to work on if, if you're trading, if you are trading one of those guys, you are banking on the idea that they'll stay healthy the rest of the way that you don't want that death. Saquon's dealt with injuries throughout his career. Joe Mixon's missed a couple of games this season. Obviously Christian Caffrey is injury prone. So it's not like any of those guys are rock solid uh, locks to, to finish the rest of the year without any injuries. But if you want to trade your depth, then that's what you're you're rolling the dice on, that you will stay healthy. And again, you got to sometimes, you know, uh, fortune favors the bold. Got to be yeah. in it to win it. Uh, the worst 
the worst they could say is no or call you dumb, I guess, and then ridicule yeah. you online. So, I mean, what's what's the loss there if you're going to try and do I mean, that? Well, the last one. To be, to be, to be fair, Kendall, the, yeah. the worst thing that could happen is is that they play in a leg with a crazy person, and, and that person comes <laughs> over to your house and tries to set your pet on fire. Like that's the you know what I mean, or or right? I mean, like you know, or okay. to burn your house down or something. Like, I mean, there's worse things that could happen because people are crazy. But yes, I more, guess. In, most, in most normal fantasy leagues, um, the worst that can happen is they say no and you move on. <laughs> if you're in a league like that, though, you need to just, like, look inwards and think to yourself, why am I here? Why do I have friends like this? I feel like there's more yeah. that you need to go through in therapy if you have something yeah. going on like that. The last one here, Matthew, from Ask Matthew, comes from um, Inquiring Minds Want to Know. Classic dumb guy debate going on over here with one of my buddies. As a semi-active member of the MCU, I was wondering if you would have some insight. Could the Hulk tackle Lamar Jackson in the open field? There you go. That's the question. Yes. I'm curious. Too. Yes, the Hulk could. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think so, too. Look, again, I get it because the Hulk is obviously very big and Lamar is very fast. Mm -hmm. But I think what the Hulk could do, and we've seen him do this in movies and that kind of stuff, is that even if, if Lamar sort of like ran past him, like the Hulk would just like, you know, use his fist and like bounce, like basically create yes. a big crater in the field that would either that Lamar would either fall down into or would bounce him back up where he would then grab him and tackle him. So yes, I, I don't know that he would tackle him in the traditional way that you see a football player mm. tackle Lamar Jackson. But yes, I do believe the Hulk has enough weapons. I mean, he may pick up another player and throw it at, at uh, Lamar Jackson, <laughs> knocking him over. Like, you know, he, I could see him doing that too, because he's got that sort of Respect. ability. So yes, no, I do believe definitely. that he would figure out a way to stop, yeah, stop Lamar Jackson in the open field. For a million dollars, could you stop Derrick Henry? Like, would you take a hit from Derrick Henry or no? I, yeah, I, I, so that's those are two different questions. Uh, <laughs> Kendall, those are two question questions. Number okay, one Would is, you take a hit? Uh, for a million dollars, would I, yeah, could I take a hit? Yes. Would that stop Derrick Henry? It would not. I mean, you know, he could <laughs> roll over me and he'd, he'd be just fine. He'd be like, oh, I just felt a, a slight breeze. Where'd that come from? <laughs> But do I think I could stop him? The answer is yes. And here's how I would stop him. Whoa, 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 Derek, Derek, Derek. <laughs> Can I show you this? If, if you would stop here for me, I will give you $500,000 just to stop <laughs> for this one time. And I feel like Derek Henry would be like, yeah, that's pretty, that's a quick way to make half a million dollars. Fair. Sure, I'm in. And there, I have just stopped <laughs> Derek Henry and I've made half a million myself. That's how it would work. I love and that. And I believe that plan right. is foolproof. No, it definitely yeah, is. Yeah, I'd be a briefcase. I'd have a whole briefcase with me. <laughs> You'd say, look at this and just open it up. No, I love it. If you're running in the open field, just like on a practice, I assume this isn't a, during an NFL game because it would never happen. But I'm just saying, mm -hmm. like, if, like, if they say, hey, Derek, we just want you to run a sprint here in practice or something like that. We just want you to do something like that. And then, you know, <laughs> so he's running in the open field. He's in his practice jersey, whatever. And all of a sudden, you know, some middle-aged balding guy pops up. It's like, hey, Derek. And he's holding a briefcase. And he goes, and, and Derek's like, stop, what? I'm like, I have $500,000 in this briefcase, and I will give it to you if you'll just take a knee and let me touch you. <laughs> Feels like I love it. No, it's definitely That's all you got to do? It's going to, it could happen. Yeah. No, that's all you got to do. So if anyone's wondering, Dang. that's, you know, that's what you have to do to stop Derek Henry. No, I respect it. I respect it a lot. This is All right. me working, working smarter, not harder. Yep. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get in these Ask Matthew segments. I will say that. Appreciate people sending in their questions, though. Matthew, appreciate you hanging out with us. We'll be right back.